Good. Nice to see you out. Here we are. We made it. Either that or we just wound up here. That's the big question. Do we choose to be here or do we wind up here? That's the question. I don't know. I'll try to figure it out in this next half hour. I, uh, myself, going through a hard time. I think you know you're going through a hard time when you don't ignore the antidepressant commercials on television anymore. When you're <laughs> channel surfing, you hear feeling blue here. Yeah. <laughs> Depression hurts. You know it really does. <laughs> well, maybe Mirzaprene can help. I bet it can. Possible side effects include explosive diarrhea and suicidal thoughts. I can live with that. I'm in a good mood tonight, man. I took my uh, kids to the zoo over the weekend. You guys been there? Here's a quick impression. This is every animal at every zoo I've ever been to. Welcome to our hibernation exhibit. God, what a rip-off. Hey, is that a lion or a shrub? Never seen a chain-smoking rhino before. What the hell are you looking at? Plus, it was sunny, so I got nailed in the head by a bee. You ever one of those dopey bees hanging around the Pepsi machine? No life. I'm a drone. I hate the queen. There's your head. <laughs> Nothing will make you look like an idiot faster than a bee. You'll be walking along normal... People are like, hey, he swallowed his tongue. <laughs> Although bees taught me something very important I didn't know about myself. I can scream exactly like a girl. I can actually, I, <laughs> I didn't know that until this big Lockheed yellow jacket. <laughs> ah! uh, I'm a girl. Did you hear that? I'm wearing little mermaid panties right now. Did you hear that? <sighs> Bugs give me the creeps. You ever kill a spider and then you can't find the body? There's two hours of paranoia. I'll hunt for that thing like I'm Sherlock Holmes. Where's the body? It's dead, Dwight. No, it's not. It's got two legs and it's pissed. Go to bed. No, I found an antenna. Keep looking. Oh, bugs can make you look like an idiot. I'm constantly making an idiot of myself. You ever get a mystery hair in your mouth? Just... Out of nowhere, one of the, where the hell did that come from? There's a moment of male dignity. <laughs> oh, hey, baby, how's it going? Yeah. I'm knitting you a sweater here. Hold on. I seem to have a litter of kittens in my mouth. There are certain physical signs that you're entering a new chapter in your life. Have you noticed that? Just certain idiot thing. I was at the airport the other day staring at one of the screens, and I caught myself standing like this. <laughs> oh, well, when did this start? <laughs> when did I turn into a high school art teacher? When did that happen? <laughs> How much longer till I wind up this guy? Hey, who? Sometimes you can make an idiot of yourself, and it's no fault of your own. Other people are so rude and self-absorbed, they make you look bad. Has this ever happened to you? Somebody's talking on their hands-free headset. They're staring straight at you. <laughs> Just in their own little world, and you're the idiot who's like, hey, oh, no. <laughs> Do I know you? Why are you talking to me? I was in the supermarket. This woman's pushing her cart toward me. Do we need potatoes? <laughs> potatoes. Honey, do we need potatoes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what else are we having? <laughs> are you coming or not? I don't know where we're going. I'm not talking to you, sir. I'm on the phone. Oh, well, did you know you're staring straight at me? Yeah, I didn't know I was supposed to disregard 9,000 years of genetic programming. I didn't know I was suddenly an actor in your movie, supposed to walk by in the background. What's the lady doing? What the? 